Hello everyone, welcome to a quick tutorial for Serio's hotkeys. Um, I said I've been using Serio's hotkeys for quite a while now. Um, but I still see that some people have some issues configuring or figuring out how it works. I figured I'd make a small little video here to help um, kind of ease the process of setting it up. It did take me a little bit, um, but eventually once you figure it out, it's, it's very simple to use. The first thing you're going to want to do, let me uh, just open up the MC, is you're going to want to start at the settings page. And you're going to want to set your setter key. So what the setter key does is it, it'll open up a dialog uh, menu in Skyrim when you're in your magic menu or your inventory. That'll let you utilize your hotkeys. So I like to set this, mine is at right alt. Just something kind of out of the way. You don't really have to use this very often. And you or in combat or anything like that so you're mainly just using this when you want to set up your uh, hotkeys next is this menu so this menu lets you select and set up your hotkeys that you want to use so by default there are 10 different hotkeys that you can use and then all you have to do is select the hotkey select the key that you want to use and let's just say we want to use this key and then if you want to use a modifier key you can also use that and then you can rename it i like to rename these to the key that i used i would re rename it to that as you can see for me i have a lot of hotkeys that are all kind of sitting around wasd and i've kind of moved around my skyrim hotkeys a little bit to be able to accommodate for this for example my c which is normally auto run i moved that to i don't know some some run the other button because I never really use the auto run anyways. Um, same thing with Z. I rebound the sh shout and power key to my mouse three button. So I use Z as well. Okay, so now let's look and see a little bit of how we can utilize these. So for instance, let's say that I, I want to cast my mage armor and my transmute muscles. I can't dual cast these yet because they don't have the perks. So I'll just do my right and my left hand right here. Now this is a setup that I'll probably often have and I want because these are both buffs that I'm going to want to cast before I go into combat. So what I'll do here is I have right and left equipped already. So I'll go ahead and hit I'll hit my right alt, select my G, cycle one, reset it. And then it shows what we have in your left hand. You have your transient muscles in your right hand. You have your mage armor and then what power you have. So it only works with the stuff that you can equip in your hands and then your powers. So it doesn't work for armor or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and say, every time we press G once, we wanna select left, press tab, right. And you can see here it says stored, press tab. We don't really care about our power because our power we'll handle with a different hotkey. So every time we press G once, it'll give us our left hand will have transient muscles and our right hand will have mage armor too. Hit accept, tab. And then you're good to go. Now let's say if I I want to if I want to use knock, which is then what I'll do. I can go to G and then I can hit the second cycle. So this means that when I press G two times within a set amount of time, it'll change from transmute muscles and mage armor in my left and right hand to knock in my left and my right hand. Let's see this. So I press G once. Transmute muscles and mage armor. Press G twice. Oh, I, I did it too little time. And you can kind of see in the top left corner there. I press it once. And then it says cycles reset. So if I press it twice, then I get my knock. And you can keep doing this on and on. So let's say we next we want to do, I don't know, contra play match or knock. Let's say we just want to have it in our left hand. G, cycle three now. Left, Conjure, play Matronach, then that's it. So now we press it once, we get Trans Muscles, Mage Armor. Twice, we get our knock. And then three times, it just changes our left hand to be Conjure, play Matronach. So what's really nice about Sierra's hotkeys is it lets you just isolate stuff into your left hand or into your right hand if you want. Of course, everything in Sierra's hotkeys you can save to a profile. So which setter hotkey and then all of these keys so you don't have to click it every time. It'll sit you can save it to a profile. Um, 
what I would do is I would go ahead and set what your setter key is and all the hotkeys without any of the information and then go ahead and save that to a profile, a profile slot. And then um, that way you every every new game you start off with a blank slate, but you get to keep your hotkeys. But yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it for a serious hotkeys. It's a it's a very useful tool. Um, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get it, I mean, I, I don't I can't imagine playing through um, a playthrough without it because it's just such a good way to manage a game that has so many spells and powers that just the menu itself isn't enough but that's it for this uh little tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace